know what I'm saying? I'm already hip who it is, you feel what I'm saying? I'm on, and I uh, opened the door. And all my stuff is in garbage bags, bro. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kill, and I am back with another video today. We finna get into this part two, man, of how I got kicked out my mom's house. Hope you guys enjoyed that part one. If you were excited for this part two, man, go ahead and smash that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to the channel, man. You are greatly appreciated for watching this video. Go ahead and like this video up, man. Uh, share this video with somebody if you feel like it'll be beneficial to them. Uh, we finna jump straight into this video. So, boom! I'm in 11th grade, going to Central now. So, I'm going through 11th grade, maybe like first week, second week of 11th grade. I'm just like, this, this, this a little too easy. The work just too easy. Like, the, the work the teacher giving out, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just like excelling in every area. I made up in my own mind. I ain't asked nobody. I ain't asked my mom. I ain't asked no teacher. I just was like, I'm gonna go talk to the principal. Talk to the principal. Come to find out, he knew my parent. You know my mom. He knew my family. I didn't even know that. But I asked him. I'm like, hey, is there any way I can move me up to the tour grade? He was like, why? I like, man, I'm gonna be real, man. You can look at my academic. No, it's only two weeks. I said, but I mean, I just feel like this is just too easy. He said, I can do it for you. It's gonna be like. You're doing, you know what I'm saying, credit recovery is gonna count like you're doing credit recovery. He was like, cause you're gonna have to be doing your 11th grade work in class, hands on, and then you're gonna have to do your 12th grade work. You're gonna have to find time to do your 12th grade work. He was like, so you're gonna have your full eight periods, you know what I'm saying, of uh, 11th grade in class, all that. And then you're gonna have to, you know, find time to do your 12th grade work. So I accepted it, boom. I start on the journey of doing my 12th grade. So I got one year, you know what I'm saying, to go ahead, hey, get all this work done. So basically, like I had 16 classes, plus elective, which I really didn't go to. I ain't, this is how, this how important it was, man. I ain't even go to PE. Like, I love playing ball, but man, I wouldn't even dress out at PE no more. The coach like, why you wanna dress out, man? Uh, I don't know how to play little ball. Either. I'm feeling PE, but I'm like, man, I don't care nothing about PE. I got bigger plans, like bigger goals on my mind other than playing ball right now. Like, you know, at my mom's friend house and different things like that still. Um, stressed over there. You know, about the living situation, different things like that. I'm glad, like, that whole year, nobody bothered me about no headphones or nothing like that. I was focused. I'm listening to my music. I'm just doing my work and different things like that. I'm focused, man. I'm focused up. And uh, on Fridays, I would go over to my girlfriend's house. Like, I really didn't like being over there at my mom's friend's house. To be honest, I was just a rebel. So I, I didn't really ask for permission all the time. You know what I'm saying? Can I go over there and chill with her? Different things like that. I really didn't ask. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I used to just walk down the street to my girl's crib and stuff like that because my mom would cool me, you know, chilling over there and different things like that. And sometimes I'd stay the weekend and my mom could pick me up like on Sunday or something like that because I got to go to school. I'm, I'm going to fast forward a little bit, fast forward a little bit. I'm going to give y'all this one one situation where, you know what I'm saying, it was always tension at my mom's friend house simply because, like, she, my mom's friend, like I told y'all, she remembered us from when we was, like, you know what I'm saying, little kids. She used to live out in Delaware. So, you know, I was a rebel. Like, I was like a, man... Prodigal son, like I was crazy, man. I'm cussing out in the street. I'm getting, I'm getting told on by neighbors. Hey, I seen your son. I seen you little red out there cussing, different things like that. And I'm like, hey, bro, I'm getting whooped at the crib because I, you know, somebody snitched on me out in the crib, you know, out in the streets. Oh, I heard your son this. I heard your son that. They're fighting with somebody, different things like that. So she, so she. She remember all that. You feel what I'm saying? She remember, she remember me talking back then, saying a little crazy stuff when I was a little kid, like like way back then. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with the present day. A lot of tension at the house because like, you know what I'm saying? Like different little comments be said, stuff like, um, and at the time I felt like I wasn't being disrespectful or had an attitude, different things like that. But I feel like a lot of it was brought out of me because you know what I'm saying? When you con constantly, consistently bringing up somebody past, bro, like, you feel what I'm saying? Or, or I remember when, you know what I'm saying, this happened and that happened and you did this and you did that or, you know what I'm saying, you, you still rude or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Just because I don't have no, no, no smile on my face all the time, that don't necessarily mean I'm, I'm mad or, you know what I'm saying, I may look mad, but I'm not necessarily mad. So, you know what I'm saying, those different little remarks she used to be saying, different things like, I remember you, I'm like, bro, I'm not even that same. To myself, I'm like, I'm not even that same dude no more. Like, I'm not that little kid that you used to watch and stuff like that. Like, I'm, I'm grown up to a, not, not all the way mature, but I'm saying, like, you taking me back to a child, you know what I'm saying? Like, you still looking at me like I'm a little kid. 
or whatever. So you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that stuff kind of made me mad or whatever. And uh, that was that was a little tension here, tension there, whatever. And my piece was, you know what I'm saying? School, school, and my girlfriend. You feel what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? Uh, so either if I'm not if I'm not at school, you know what I'm saying? I'm kicking with her on, on the weekend. It was one night, you know what I'm saying? I had this phone right. I ain't even had no service. My mom, you know what I'm saying? They was going through a little hard time. I, got, I had this little Android phone. I, I remember it was the HTC. I think back then, like chips went like. Chips one lock to a certain phone. Like if you can get a chip out of somebody's phone, you plug in your phone and it just about work. She she was working at the uh she was working at the she was working at the rest area. You feel me? She was getting ready for work. She, I think she was in the shower on the phone with uh, my uh, girl or whatever. Which I'm like, mom, you know what I'm saying? She finna gonna get her phone. And right before she went, right before she finna leave or whatever, I'm like, all right, hold on real quick. You know something to tell her goodbye, everything like that. So, <laughs> so I, you know what I'm saying? I tell her, I was like, all right, I gotta go or whatever. So boom, I, I, I uh, take the back off her phone, take her chip out, put it in my phone, take my little chip out that don't work, not don't got no service, put it in her phone, uh, slot that one back on. She, I gave it to her, boom, I just got out of the phone for a little bit, just chilling, I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting on the floor, whatever, you know what I'm saying, laying down. So boom, um, so she leave or whatever. I call her girl or whatever. I was like, how you get the phone? Man? How you get the phone? You know what I'm saying? Oh, she let me keep it lying. You know what I'm saying? Took my tip chip out of the So I'm, I'm going on for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? I'm going on for a little minute. And uh, I'm going on for a minute, having a good conversation. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. <laughs> it was so short lived, boy. It was so short lived. Uh, my mom friend came in the room. Give me the, give me the phone. I ain't even, I ain't even argue with her. I ain't even true. I was just like, yeah, you're right. She's like, boom, come on, mom. What she did, she found out that I had to the chill because she was on one word. So, boom, I'm on the phone, right? I'm on the phone. I'm chilling. And she come in, she asked for the phone. I'm like, hey, babe, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the phone. Like, I, I gotta go. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She like, all right, I'll talk to you later. Like, all this. So boom, I hang up the phone, y'all. Hang the phone up. I take, you know what I'm saying? Back then they had the backs on the phone. So I take the back of the phone. I take the chip out, bro, right in her face. Like right in her face. And I, I'm, I'm putting emphasis on this for a reason. And I give her the chip, right? I give her the chip. So me, me being upset a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and this other reason, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all the reason because this morning, this this, app, this right after, um, right after that. Well, basically that morning, I walked to school from Alberta. I was. It wasn't even about the phone, but it was more so about my mom's friend. She just take me to school every morning. When you living with somebody, I don't know if y'all ever experienced that, bro. Like you live with somebody, it's stressful for both parties, and I'm not. I'm not saying. You know what I'm saying? She was wrong or nothing like that. But if you know what I'm saying, but me being a kid, me being, you know what I'm saying, my mentality at the time, you know what I'm saying, was it, you know what I'm saying, on par with that. But you know, I wasn't getting with all that stuff she was saying. So when she taking me to school, different thing like that, here go here I am. You know, so I got headphones in. Little she you know, one of them don't work, you know what I'm saying? I'm just over there vibing, acting like I'm vibing, you know what I'm saying? I'm vibing, but I still hear what she's saying, different thing like that. And you know what I'm saying? She was saying different things like, you know, I'm saying she ready for it to go. Uh she don't know when they gonna play. Editor kill here. Uh I wanna elaborate a little bit on this. Uh, basically what I'm saying here is on my way to school as she's taking me to school early in the morning and uh, I'm listening to my headphones, different things like that. But I'm hearing the things that she's saying uh, about, you know what I'm saying? Speaking to speaking to another friend about another friend is fake. You know, especially when it's in a negative way, simply put. Thing like that and red is red that. I'm like, bro, like I punch you in your face. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm getting mad. But I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the whole time, that's, 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 that's some of the reason why I was walking around with an attitude as well, because I heard some of those things, and it, it kind of sent me over the edge. Like, I wasn't I wasn't really one of them folk that like that fake stuff, man. And uh, if you, you know what I'm saying, if you want, you know, say what you got to say to a person, say it. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, that, that, that just kind of made me mad. Let me go back a little bit. Let me let me track back, track a little bit. Different things that made me upset. Like I told y'all, like, I, I went to the principal on my own. Nobody told me to do that. I'm acing, I'm acing 12th grade work. I'm acing 11th. Uh, great work showing them my laptop straight at but do you not know these people think I was lying bro like they literally like 
You ain't graduated this year type stuff. Like, they was on that, but kill, really? Graduate early? What else? Wait, bro, what do I have to lie for? Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Different scenarios and different things like tick me off to a certain point. A whole lot of other stuff in that stress that coming from living with people and different things like that. And I feel like she was fake. I'll say long story short, I walked to school from Alberta that morning. Right after I had took my mom chips, I gave the lady, you know, my mom friend a chip or whatever. I trucked all the way to school, bro, for like peace, like for peace, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Like arguments concerning me. I walked to school that morning, bro. I got there stupid early. I got the, bro, I got this, I got to school so early. I was sitting outside. If, if y'all know where the walk in, you know what I'm saying? Where the walk ins come in at, uh, on the side of the building, whatever, over there by the uh, gym. You know what I'm saying, get through first period, get through second period, third, you know what I'm saying? Fourth period. And I get a call down to the office, right? I get a call down to the office. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? They were like, grab your stuff. You know what I'm saying? They were like, grab your stuff, bring your stuff. And I'm like, bro, you know what? I don't get checked out, bro. Like, I don't, bro. I don't never get checked out. Sick to the bone, bro. They would never check me out, bro. And I never skipped school, dude. So, me walking to school, they probably thought I skipped. Uh, I know it was a shock to them that I was there in school. Because like I told y'all, that was my peace. That was my, you know, serenity, bro. Away from that house, away from that mess, away from that drama, bro. I, I, I come downstairs or whatever, and I see my mom and her friend. First thing, first thing first, the friend told me something. Uh, give me the chip. Give you the chip? I'm like, what you mean? Give you the chip. I gave you the chip last night. No, you didn't. You gave me a fake chip. I'm like, oh, oh. this is where it get crazy, y'all. It, 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 it's getting crazy. So she telling me to give her the chill. I'm like, I already gave you the chill. I grab my phone. Boom, I grab my, I got, I got the phone, grab the phone in my pocket. This, this is just a phone we don't use no more. We let our daughter use. And back then, on the screen of the phone, if you ain't had no chill, bro, it was like a freaking uh, message across the sky, bro. It literally had, like, right on the front, no CM, all that on the ACC. But even now, why, look at this. I hope this stuff focus. I hope it focus. You see that? That thing say no CM. What that's telling me and what that's telling them is ain't no chip in the, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no chip in this phone. I go to pull the phone out of my pocket. And I go to do this, do one of these numbers like, I'm like, I don't got the chip. Remember I gave it to you last night? I'm like, maybe y'all need to go back home, you know what I'm saying? And put the chip in right, y'all probably put it in wrong. So I do this, you know what I'm saying? To show them that it said no sim. When I went to do this, my mom's friend said, she grabbed the top of my phone and tried to pour. That was a mistake, boy. That was a mistake. Bro, she grabbed the top. She thought she was strong. Now I just pulled my phone back, bro. Put it in my pocket. I looked at them, bro. I said, I gotta get up out here, bro. I'm like, I'm going back to class, bro. I just told you. That right there, that made me so mad. But I was like, okay, bro. I go, you know what I'm saying? I turn around and I'm walking towards. The courtyard. They followed me to the courtyard. I'm finna go back to class. Y'all interrupting my work. I got work to do. I don't got time for this. I'm walking to the courtyard. You know what they do? This is what they do. I'm not capping. Y'all believe me. This is what they do. I, I'm going through the courtyard. I go through the door. You know that little uh little handle that be on, you know what I'm saying? The holder that be on the back of your backpack. Say you got both straps in and somebody pull the back of your, you know what I'm saying, pull the, that, that handle back there while you got both straps. So you gonna go, ugh, but I'm too strong with that song. They're like, man, I'm just gonna keep it, I keep it trucking. You know what I'm saying, I keep it trucking. They both pull it on the backpack. Now I got all my notes in there. I got everything, everything in there. But you know what I'm saying, my, my notes, my, I think my laptop, everything. I'm like, get, I almost to the door, whatever. So they pull on that, they pull on that or whatever. And so I just, I just, you know, I slide out of the backpack and I, I keep walking. I keep walking because I'm, I'm, I'm really mad right now. First of all, you didn't believe me the chip, you know what I'm saying, that night. And then you wouldn't even believe me that I told you that you pro you probably put it in wrong. Then when I try to show you my phone to, to, to confirm to you that I didn't have it, I'm, I'm still walking, y'all. I'm still walking, trying to go to class. So I go to the, get to the door. And I go, I'm about to go in. I just happen to turn back. And I see them tearing up 
all like my bonders, they just going through. Bro, they don't care about none of this work, bro, that I didn't put in, bro. Like, I didn't put in work studying. I'm talking about taking notes for 11th grade off the screen, bro. Taking notes at the 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 notes. And uh, for, for 11th grade, then on top of that, I'm just, like, all this stuff just, I got tests and different things coming up. Like, they throw, you know, I'm seeing my paper just fly with the wind. But they, this is what I think they thought, bro. They must have thought that I knew that they was coming to school. So let me take the chip out my phone and hide it so that I can. I don't got time to prepare for none of that. That's stupid. Bro. So they, I, I turn around, I see them, you know what I'm saying, taking papers out and looking in between, like, you know, the little flaps that's on the binder. Like, they, they tearing them, you feel what I'm saying, opening them up, trying to find a chip in between. I'm like, bro, I just told these people, bro. Like, I just told them I did not have it, bro. So they tearing my stuff up. They tearing my work up. My paper's flying. They searching my backpack. Ain't believe nothing I said. That's when I lost it, bro. I lost it right there. I turned around. I started cussing them out about the swing on one of them. I got my stuff. That's what I just started cussing, like get get the bag. What the y'all doing? Who y'all think y'all is? Give me my bruh. Put my stuff back in my backpack. Get my jaw, zip it up, put my backpack on, bro. They I think they got escorted out by police. I think they they they, they left. I go into the bed, I, I push the wall hard as crap. It's like these center block brick wall. I push the wall hard as crap, bro. Police officer, you know what I'm saying? He was like, what's wrong with you, son? I was going crazy, bro. I was like, I lost it, bro. I was like, man, they tripping, bro. What's wrong with them? He, bro, like, everybody in that school, bro, like, elders and different things, like, from teachers, bro. Like, I had a teacher come out of the classroom looking like, God, dog, you know what I'm saying? But they never seen me. Like, I don't cut up in class. I don't act no fool. I do my work. I, whatever they ask me to do, I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no teacher never saw that side of me cussing, going crazy or nothing like that. But they came up to my school and brought that junk out of me, bro. And I, I'm not saying this stuff was right, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all the story. I'm giving y'all the context of the story. I'm mad at the police officer. He's like, bro, this ain't this not you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You chill, you cool. Police all talking to me, different things like that. He's like, what happened, man? I'm like, I'm telling him, like, bro, I'm they telling me da 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 he, You know what I'm saying? So he finally tell him to go, go home. He told, you know, go home and try to chill, different things like that. You know what I'm saying? He said he gave it to you last night. If you had a chill, go home. You know what I'm saying? Go and try to try to, you know, put the chip in the right way. You know what I'm saying? And then call back up, you know, come back up here if you know what I'm saying. He was lying. So they leave, and uh, I'm talking to the boss. I mean, I'm, I call down. He got me calm, whatever. I go, I go, um, go back to class. I think it's like fifth period now, bro. I, I don't even know. I think the class had just let out, or or maybe I did go back to fourth period. You know what I'm saying? So that whole day, you know what I'm saying? I had to refocus my mind to get back to work. You know what I'm saying? To get back to work. Fast forward, the day over with. Fridays, like I said, I usually just go to my girlfriend's house anyway and just chill with her, kick with her, whatever. So, Friday, whatever, I go over there to my girlfriend's house, end up, you know what I'm saying, fall asleep or whatever, and like normal. Saturday morning, I get, you know what I'm saying, beat, knock on the door, you know what I'm saying. I'm already hip who it is, you feel what I'm saying, my mom, and I uh, open the door. And all my stuff is in garbage bags, bro. Woo! My stuff in, my stuff in garbage bags, y'all. But here's the funny thing. I'm going to show you. Here's the funny thing. Come to find out, they went back home, put the chip in the right way. The phone activates. And they were wrong the whole time. Tool my paperwork up, different things like that, cri crippling up papers, notes. Never apologize. All because they thought I was lying. All because they thought they were dealing with the same kid that a lie back then. Now I'm not saying I'm innocent in this stuff because I should never took the chill. 
you know, that night. But it's crazy that I, you know, I'm on the phone. I tell my girl right then I have to go hang on the phone right in the lady's face and take the chip out. No sleight of hand or nothing. I don't know how to do no sleight of hand. I take the phone, take the back of the phone in her presence and I give her the chip in her presence. She took it out of my hand. So I, I wake up with all my bags out there on my, my girlfriend porch. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's part two. A whole lot more that I could say, man, but y'all get the gist of it. Y'all take anything from this, man. Listen to your parents. Don't cause no more stress on them than it already is. Uh, love them while they're here. Because right now, my mom is on. My dad living in Mississippi. But listen to your parents. They're trying, you know what I'm saying, to help you in the best way they can if they like that. And uh, don't, don't make it hard for them, man. I love y'all guys, man. Peace.